Once you've added your clients into your Crunch accounts, next you need to issue invoices for those clients. Now, if you've already issued invoices to your clients, you'll just need to record the invoices and record them as issued in your Crunch account. If you're creating the invoice for the first time, um, yeah, just follow these simple steps to issue the invoice. To do so, if you go to the Add New Invoice on the right-hand side up top, and you want to select the client you've just created, and then you need to enter information into the invoice's details section. So, when was the invoice issued? Was it issued yesterday, a month ago? Is it going to be issued today? Do bear in mind that you cannot record and issue an invoice for a future date. So in this example, we record it as today. The client reference, this is an optional field. This field, you want to put information if you have um, been previously issuing invoices to your clients and you have an invoice number. So let's say the next invoice you're issuing is issue number 29. You can pop that in the client reference so it appears on the invoice and also appears in your Crunch account to keep everything in a nice chronological order for yourself. As earlier mentioned, um, when we're adding the clients, you can select the payment terms. I did mention that when you create the invoice, you can select the payment terms because some clients, you might have one invoice that can pay you in 30 days time, another invoice they need to pay you in a week's time. This can be done when you're creating the invoice and this is where you do it in this section. So in this example, the client needs to pay us in 14 days as per our agreement. The next section is the invoice options. So are you VAT registered? If you are VAT registered, do your daily services or fees include VAT or do you add VAT onto your daily services or fees? If you include VAT into your services, instead of you worrying about having to do any calculations or deductions, you can merely tick the box and it does everything for you in the Crunch application. If you charge VAT onto your services, no need to tick that box. The next section is the line item type. If you click between these simple and details, you would notice that the invoice line items, the values change at top. So as simple, we have description, net, and VAT. However, in detail, you can have description, rate, quantity, net, and also VAT. The detailed section, extremely handy, is if you're charging your clients per day or per hour and you want to show how many units of your time you're charging them for. So in the example, we're choosing details and you want to click the add line item button. In the description, we're saying for work for week ending the 16th of August, um, we charge 500 pounds a day, and we charge them for two days of work. In this example, we are VAT registered. However, we just worked on a new building, so we're not charging our clients any VAT. In the example, you'll change the VAT rate type from standard to outside the scope. If you're not VAT registered, you just leave that as zero. It will automatically be populated for you. Once you've selected the VAT rate, you'll just save that line item. Once saved, you can add an invoice note. So is there any special information you want to record on the invoice? You can add the bank account details by ticking the tick box and selecting which account. So which we'll select the HSBC account we created earlier in this example. And also you can set a late payment reminder. So after the 14 day period, if your clients do not pay you, an automatic email can be issued out to your clients and you can select the frequency of that as well. But in this example, we're not gonna select this option. So once you're happy with what you recorded, if you click the save as draft, and that will automatically create an invoice in draft in your Crunch account. If you head over to the Sales tab Invoices section, you see that invoice sitting in draft. Now the reason why it sits in draft first is if it's in draft and you've made any errors, you can edit the invoice or if you want to completely delete the invoice. However, once the invoice is issued, you are unable to delete or edit that invoice because it is classified as a legal document.